All right, just from this past weekend, uh, what really happened was is we just weren't as good on defense as what we have been, particularly those first three drives. They made those completions on us, and there's probably those first three third down plays that we didn't, we didn't, we didn't get off the field. And then they got momentum out of that, got us on our heels, and uh, they did a good job in the first half. Second half, we came back and played a lot better football, a lot better defense, and, and uh, offensively, Cole Morgan did a good job of uh, swinging it back in our favor. So made a, made a run at him, made a good run at him, but uh, couldn't overcome the 21-point the deficit that we created ourselves. They did a great job. They had a good plan, and uh, they just got us on our heels, and we couldn't overcome it. So it was a good season, a great group of seniors. So any questions? You have a over preseason had you a possible transfers coming in when you start fall camp. But right now, what are your thoughts on replacing some of the you know, veterans, some of the better ones, like David Johnson, Jaden Williams? What do you have on the roster that might help you play some of that? Well, I don't, I don't, I don't know that you uh, there's nobody going to replace David Johnson, and for that matter, Xavier. But, uh, but David is, is in particular. I mean, we all got to see a very special football player, so we should all appreciate that much because those guys don't come around all the time uh, for any football team. And uh, David has been uh, very, you know, the, the, the great thing about David was he stayed healthy this season. So that was a big part of this whole thing, and that's what I'm, I'm very happy for now is that he's a healthy uh, player as well uh, going into his next phase now of his career. So uh, pleased about that. But other guys, and, and we have actually, I was going through the list today before going out and recruiting what what we have and evaluating in my mind of what they will be. And I actually think running back, there's some strong candidates there to be in that, could be very good running backs for us, not like David, but be very good running backs for us. So I think we have a couple on campus that I hope are will be uh, good players for us. Uh, Xavier, I, what was nice about Xavier was is he alternated a lot this year. Uh, we rolled a lot of defensive linemen through there, and it was actually a young defensive line. If you take out uh, X and Mac, it's a young defensive line. So, uh, and they played a lot, the other ones. So, we'll be, as a group, I think we can uh, help shore that position up with X, uh, the void of X and, and Mac leave. But at the same time, it, it won't be the same. X was such a good nose tackle in a 3-4 defense, and that's what he did on Saturday. He was so powerful, he overtook the he overtook the center on that game, and we actually had to change our defense mid 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 stride there to to slow their their offense because they were ready for the four man front. So we fitch, uh, switched to the three man because we had X, and X basically divided the def the offense in half and gave us a chance uh, uh, to change that plan because of his talent inside. So we won't be able to replace that part of him, but as far as a four man front, I think that we can. We can do some things that way as a group to overcome and, and still be as good. Mark, obviously this, this season you wanted to go further, but when you're looking back on it, how gratifying was it considering where it could have gone? Oh, it's, it's, it's actually very gratifying. It was a fun season. Looking back, it was very stressful at the time. But look at the wins. The, the wins were so fun. There were such big wins, and there were such good wins against good teams. Uh, we've, we've, we've gone further. We've done some things against what you go back and look at against lesser teams. You look at this group, and what made this so fun was who we beat, how we beat them, and uh, they were so good. So this was probably the toughest schedule from top to bottom any football team at UNI has ever played, from from the first game to the last game, as far as the ranked teams and the and and the records of the teams that we played, and then two 1A games on top of it with the travel to Hawaii. So you put all those things together. This this team had to take that on, and I thought they were. I thought they did a great job, and it was it was really fun going through that stretch of of Western Illinois to uh, uh, Stephen F. Austin. I mean, there were some great games in there, and some great play, and some exciting plays. And I would I would venture to guess that any fan would tell you that was probably as, as an exciting group of uh, how would I say it? The, the games were probably more fun to watch than many of the past as a group in a season that were played because of the talent that was on the field both for and against you and I and, and you know the plays that were made by by us so yeah very pleased that way because it was great defense scored a lot of points 50 plus sacks and offensively it was it was fun to watch David uh, do the things that he did so 
very pleasing that way because it was exciting and it was very, very fun.